what you think, sweetie? Oh, goodness. Look how good she looks compared to when she first came in. This part, it's not all sunken in as bad as it was. I mean, obviously, you know. Like, look at... She is gaining weight already. That's right. Well, you get a lot of food. <laughs> you get a lot of food. Look at how good you look. And she has so much energy. So much more energy. And he's been getting fed about every two hours uh, during the day. So 9 a.m. is the first one. Then noon, 2 p.m., 4 p.m., between 6 and 7, and then between 9 and 10. And she's really gotten used to that schedule now. She still will not eat hay. Chopped hay, alfalfa hay. I've tried buying her different kinds of hay. And this miss is just way too picky for any of that. It's, uh, it's pellets or nothing. <laughs> so I've been sneaking in some alfalfa pellets in with the grain that she's getting. She's getting an extruded grain, so basically when she bites into it, it's like dust, um, so it's not going to have as much of a risk of like compacting in her gut. Like you definitely don't want to feed a regular horse just grain all the time. Um, but she, she's been doing well and she's been drinking a lot more water. We just keep, we have one bucket and we just keep refilling it over and over and over and that seems to do the trick and fulfill her quality requirements. <laughs> so she's here in quarantine. And I've been watching her because I did not want her to be just, you know, trotting and pacing or cantering up and down this line. The benefit of that smaller area was, you know, the way to conserve calories is to limit motion. And that includes stomping at flies, swishing tails, or running around because you're stressed. Um, so we wanted to limit that and we had a cooler day today. And tomorrow's supposed to be a little on the cool side, so we brought her over here. It's been in the high 80s and 90s this whole past week, so that was why shade was such an issue and we had to make that decision for her because <laughs> she will not make it for herself. This is just dirt, but she sort of had like crusty, matted almost, like rain rotty type situation. Um, so we've been treating that with all the MTG that everybody sent. And we've got her some fly boots, um, trying to keep the flies off her, but again, the camera doesn't show how, how bad the weight loss is, but she does look a ton better, just comparatively. We finally got the results back from the vet, so her blood work actually came back really good. She's not in any kind of organ failure. All of her values are pretty much good across the board. The only thing that was like noted is I think basically based on uh, a little too much grain and some stress. Um, so the vet, that was about 10 days ago now. We finally got the results back. I like pet her and then she moves along so that instead of petting her face, I'm petting her butt because that's what she prefers. Princess Winnie. <laughs> what do you think? You're pretty good for 32, huh? All her calories are gonna come from concentrated feed. Um, <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> With the blood work coming back all right, you know, we're gonna keep proceeding. We're gonna keep trying to put some weight on her and uh, what we're doing seems to be working already. I'm really surprised that we've already seen an improvement, but I think when they're so skinny, you know, that first little bit of weight they put on, um, you know, you can really see it. It really makes a difference. So the vet um, called her a body score two. Um, so that is an improvement from one. Uh, and we're really happy with that. Of course, she needs to get up to four or five. So that'll be a while. But we know Miss Winnie can do it. We just got to not run around being all baby excited, baby fever. Yeah. 
If you'd like to eat some grass, there's some more options out here. I really wish you would. And this is all. You can't see this, but like There we go. So we've um we've split quarantine into uh, Willow and Xena and then her. So they can kind of get to know each other over the fence. They didn't have a direct fence line before. So now they can, and hopefully is we want to integrate Winnie into sort of their little herd because Xena would very much like that and Winnie very, very much would like that. So <laughs> uh, I want to quickly run through all of the thank yous I need to do for our Amazon wish list as that huge box. And thank you everybody who's donated via our videos and our website as well. At this rate, it's going to cost around $500 a month just to feed her. Um, and she's been doing really well, but to continue that, um, we're going to use your donations to make sure that that happens and she stays on the path to health. Some of it is specifically for Winnie <laughs> and some of it um, I think is just general for the rescue. So um, if people don't specify, then we assume it's for the rescue. So this is just stuff that we've collected over the past couple weeks. We've got some fly spray from Sarah. Thank you so much. She says, just watched the video on Winnie and brought her to the gift list. She is beautiful. Yes, she is. Thank you for your donation. Denise also sent a bunch of fly spray. Please keep doing the good work. We will keep doing that. Thank you so much, Denise. Leanne sent some MTG. Thank you, Leanne. She also sent some fly traps, which are super helpful. We've had such a, a wet spring and the flies are just insane this year. It's everywhere, everywhere local here in North Carolina, they're dealing with like just a crazy fly season. So all of these fly sprays and traps are coming in super, super handy. Dave, thank you for the fly spray. And some more fly spray from Pamela. Thank you guys so much. We got some gift cards as well, which we, uh, to Tractor Supply, which we used to buy um, some iron supplements for Winnie. Uh, the bugs obviously like her because she's a lighter colored horse and she will not eat anything liquid, any kind of liquid supplement, molasses, even anything like that. So it has to be pellets for her. So we got her some pelleted iron supplements. So we used that. Thank you, Pat, for sending a Tractor Supply gift card. And Patricia also sent a Tractor Supply gift card. She says, much love and good wishes to the beautiful Arabian Snow Queen. She is beautiful <laughs> and opinionated. Got a ton of stuff from Teresa. My goodness, Teresa, you went to town. We've got coat defense, which we use for her and other horses. We've got some more MTG. We've got fly spray and also some more fly traps. So thank you so much, Teresa, and everybody else who's donated via our Amazon wish list. We always thank everybody in our videos. Now let's get back to some more updates about Winnie. Thank everybody, Winnie. <laughs> Just moving so I can scratch her butt. Thank you guys so much. We're so happy to see such a big community of you guys coming together to support her. She doesn't know it, but she is feeling it. She's got extra fly spray, extra MTG. She's getting extra food and supplements and love. And we know she sure appreciates it. Thank you everybody for watching and staying up to date on Winnie's progression. Thank you for sending all those wonderful gifts for her. If you like this video, give it a like, subscribe down below to follow her journey. We'll see you in the next one.